Hello, and thank you for stopping by my beer quest once again. Happy Halloween. So, today's beer... This, this is a <laughs> too hot. I was going to say something about E.T. or something like that, but uh, it's too hot to wear that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, today's beer is one of my favorite uh, Halloween beers. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like it's Halloween until I have a... Um, a Buffalo Bill's uh, pumpkin ale. There, there are other pumpkin ales out there. I know Buffalo Bill is uh, his uh, pumpkin ale is primarily on the uh, the West Coast, but I know Michelob has a pumpkin ale and Shipyard has a pumpkin ale. I haven't actually had the Michelob uh, one. The Shipyard I have had once. Um, I seem I, I, I seem to think I like the pumpkin ale from Buffalo Bill's better. Um, it's 4.9% alcohol. Now, Buffalo Bills is actually in Hayward, California. The last two or three years that I noticed, um, they license it out to, um, to, um, um, it says right here, <laughs> I'm looking for, Pyramid. Uh, Pyramid, um, started out in, um, in Oregon, I believe, and then they bought a uh, brewery in Seattle, Washington, and also one in Berkeley, California. And so now they're all over the, the West Coast. So they have very good at Hefeweizen. Uh, I don't really care for Hefeweizen, but theirs is actually pretty good. So they license it out to Pyramid uh, so they can distribute this throughout the West Coast, I believe. Um, I, uh, I, I don't remember the difference. I, I do know there's a difference in the bottle now. You know, last year I bought it, it had a pry off cap, and I was actually prepared to pry it off with this new uh, bottle opener I got at the grocery store, the Guinness one, with a, uh, with a quarter underneath. Thank you, Super West, for that tip. But it actually doesn't really have that interesting of a bottle cap. It just has a uh, kind of orange cap. Let's see if I can get this one off. <laughs> Well, lots of smoke there, too, if you can see that. I know Joe likes the smoke. Like I said, it doesn't seem to be Halloween until I have one of these. I don't know how many years I've been drinking this on Halloween. I don't normally care for, like, fruit beer or anything added to beer either, but... You now, th this, uh, if I remember correctly, it's almost like a pumpkin pie, you know? And usually, you know, we buy... Some, but I remember uh, either last year or the year before we bought so much, we had some left over on Thanksgiving. Had some with pumpkin pie, and it went actually really well with pumpkin pie. But like pumpkin pie, I, I wouldn't want to eat pumpkin pie every day. This is not a beer that I would want to drink every day, unfortunately. And it's just like for Halloween. Oh, sorry, I got so excited there, I forgot to talk about the, the smell. It, 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 it does smell pumpkin-y, <laughs> believe it or not. It's hard to explain. It has this pumpkin spice kind of smell. Um, it tastes uh, tastes really nice. Now, if you could look at the color there. It has a really nice color, like a, a really good ale. But it, it, it does taste like a, a, a nice ale. And a finish like a pumpkin pie. Yeah. You know, liquid pie. <laughs> you know, it, it is a it's a really nice beer. Uh, especially for the holidays. But like I said, it's not something I would probably want to drink every uh, every day. But yeah, you know. It's a, it's nice for right now. For Halloween. Well. Cheers. Until next time. Enjoy your beer and have a happy and safe Halloween. All right? Don't drink and drive. I know this is a party holiday, especially being on a Friday now, but, you know, be careful out there. I, I usually just stay home on holidays now like this, and if, if I do go out, I make sure I have a ride, so do the same. All right? Cheers.